Okay, uh, blog post number two. So, this morning I cried for 26 minutes into my video camera and posted it publicly. Um, I don't have any follows on YouTube because I don't normally, it's not something I normally do, but my goal really is to help people. And um, first and foremost, help myself, right? Give yourself the oxygen first and then and then your, your child. So, I've already been on a journey to help others for many, many, many years, pretty much my whole life. So just an update, um, two minutes, how I'm feeling. Um, so after I hung up the video, I did my meditation. I did 26 minutes. I usually go for 30, but I did 26. I heard my little girl come downstairs and I wanted to say hi, so I ended it. Um, nothing much happened. I, I was able to get calm, you know, because I've already been doing it now for two years. Um, not too much emotion came up. I think I did that during the introductory blob on my journey to healing. And um, and then I went out, and then I made a beautiful bowl of mixed fresh fruit, and it was really delicious. And after that, um, I did a little bit of yoga, because I haven't in a few weeks. Um, the reason being, the pain in my back and neck was really bad. So initially, when I started having the pain, I thought it was... Over surfing, I was in Costa Rica. Um, thought maybe I just pulled out a nerve, you know, overstretched something, and then something got caught. And so I was doing yoga, and initially it alleviated the pain. And then a new pain began. It's called Lermit sign. It's when I flex my head, I have this shooting electrical pain down the back of my neck. And so the worst that got, um, initially again, I was stretching it, thinking my ligaments were tight. And then the worst that pain got, the more I noticed it was not normal. It wasn't just from not being stretched. And it, it would get a little better. I'd take Advil and then it would get worse and get better and worse. And very significant was it was keeping me from sleeping because I can't lay on my back and I can't lay on my left side. Um, that exacerbates the, the pain emanating from C71 that I have in my between the middle of my spine and my left shoulder blade. And um, so it's very easy to see why people thought it was a pinched nerve. Um, that, it, that probably is a pinched nerve, but it, it radiates from the C-spine, not from a pinched nerve in the, in the back, if you know anything about anatomy. So as the pain got pretty much almost unbearable and was affecting me at work, and I found myself consuming too many Advil, I started to be concerned about my stomach, and then, of course, as I should be, I um, started getting x-rays. And so that's when I stopped stretching after I got the plain x-ray. And I realized it was really bad. Um, and so it's been a week and a half. So I went to, to, to do some yoga, being mindful, um, not overextending or overflexing. In fact, hardly flexing or extending at all. Just putting the emphasis on my, my limbs, my joints, and the rest of my muscles. And I will say that I already feel lifted. I no longer feel depressed. I'm sure I will have my moments, um, but I already feel better. And so small changes. Now I'm going to have some hard-boiled eggs, and I have to leave for work in like two minutes. So I'm going to go and get dressed. I will follow up. I found a surgeon in California I'm going to do a consult with, and I'm meeting with another group in Miami, and I'll let you know how those consults go. Not coming in the shower with me. Bye.